Hey Jocko, my new PC was missing the last piece of the puzzle, and that piece being an M.2 NVMe SSD. But the issue was, I didn't have any space left to put the disk in. So what's the solution? Let me show you. And the solution is a PCIe card like this one, but will have multiple versions. This one is X1, this one is X4, and you might also have X8. And you may even find one that has X16 lanes. But which one should you get? Well, that will depend on the motherboard that you have. In my case, I use the same drive in my old PC, but it had a different curve. That one being this one, but this one was X4. And the new one is X1. What's the difference? Well, let's take a look. If you want to know where you can connect the PCIe card, go online and find the manual for your motherboard. This one was MSI Tomahawk B350. And in this case, this is the graphics card slot. This was taken. I have one M.2 slot here. This was also taken. And then we have a bunch of other PCIe slots. But we'll have to check the PCIe slot bandwidth table. So we have PCIe 2. This is taken. Now I didn't want to bother with PCIe 2 X1 because this is a slow speed. So PCIe E1 and E3 were out of the question. And the second option was this one. And this is the slot that I used in my old PC, which was PCIe 2 X4. But the new board has a lot less expansion slots. This is the GPU slot. But because new GPUs are huge, this slot is also covered up. So this one is out of the question. Now I could be using this slot like in my old PC, but this table says it's disabled. Why is that? It has to do with the M.2 slots. And it says, when installing PCIe SSD in M.2-2, PCIe E3 slot will be unavailable. So because I already have two M.2 slots, this one and the one above, already filled, I can't use this PCIe connection. So only option is this one. But this has PCIe 3x1. Now why is this important? Let's take a look. So this old card will not fit in because it has X4. So I need this one that has X1. Does it make any difference if it's X1, X2, X4? It does, but also it depends on the PCIe version. So the old PC had PCIe 2 with four lanes. So up to two gigabytes per second. This PC has PCI 3 version with one lane, so up to one gigabyte per second. So the SSD speed in an ideal condition will be half less, but nothing is ideal. As you can see from this image, the old PC had an effective speed of about 75%, but this one has an effective speed of about 80% plus. I didn't want the expansion card to be in front of the fence, so I put it in the back. And to do that, I used this extension cable. The back of the case has enough space, so I was able to put this heatsink on onto the SSD, and it comes with four thermal pads, two one mm one and two half mm one. So depending on the SSD, you can use the ones that you need. Now my solution was janky, but can you use anything else? You could use something like this to connect it to a SATA drive. In that case, the speed would be slower, about up to 500 megabytes per second, but also most of them don't actually support that M.2 NVMe drive, as you can see. It's not supported. You could also use something like this to put the M.2 NVMe drive onto a USB stick, but in this case the speeds will be limited by the USB protocol. And that's how you can connect an M.2 NVMe SSD drive to a PC that doesn't have any M.2 slots or you already filled them up. And if you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up. I'm Simon and until next time Jackals, keep it digital.